Welcome back to another rig review, and today we're going to take a look at the Selena rig. Selena, Selena. You can go on to Look Rig, and you can see there is a opening special 20% off. You also have a really cool showcase. I will have a link in the description to this as well. It's absolutely fantastic. So here you have Brooke, Selena, Dawn, and the whole family all on sale. They are on the pricier side than you are used to if you're looking at $10, $15, $5 rigs. There's a free one as well here. But here we are. This is a fantastic rig and absolutely worth the money. Holy moly, do I love it. So it comes in like this. For me, when I unzipped the folders, the texture was found right away. Gamma look will be like this. So your mileage will vary in terms of what the rig is going to look like. This seems fairly washed out, but I'm going to leave it like that for now. And there are a couple things. As you open this, you have a tips for faster rig. Use legacy viewports. Now, I only have viewport 2.0 and Arnold. I'm doing this in Maya 2020. So if you are, I believe, 2018 and 17, even though it's 2018, still has it. This might not be possible. You have blocking set to proxy mode. I'll show you this and also hiding facial controls. I will show you this as well. Then in the docs folder, you have this here, which kind of gives you a bit of an overview of some of the things you need to pay attention to. This is for you right here. I'm going to go through a bit fast, but I will go through that in detail now. And the last thing is that you have an assets activation where you email the payment ID and in here you put the path to your texture. Now, what does that mean? So a couple of things. A, disclaimer, I received those rigs for free for testing purposes. Just as a disclaimer, I did not pay for these. So it's easy for me to say they're awesome, pay for them. But I would have paid for them either way because they are absolutely fantastic. They're so cool. Okay, hold on, let me show you. So when you go down here, there is a V. The V gives you geometry display. You have normal, you have proxy. So you can see maybe in here, you're going to go normal. You can see some of the differences. The face stuff will go away. And then you have texture, which is dark, and then render. So they all have the different purposes, as you can see, as you render with V-Ray or Arnold, whatever it is. But I want to show you the thing about texture. So what you just saw was a slight change. I'm going to go back to this just because it's more visible. And you can see now the difference in texture. And we'll see this later on with the other rigs as well. You have coloration on the skin. And I can take that path. Again, this was with this path here. I can take this off. And say that and you can see the difference here if i do texturing off obviously there will be no difference here so what you need to do is texture back to normal and now you can see the difference again there's a slight difference here in your color management but when you change this and go back to texture bam you can see the difference here it's very very cool and again if you look at the showcase it's it's featured movie quality it's absolutely fantastic and just the options everything that you can do with those rigs so you can see fine detail here and when you see this here and you wonder what that is you can go in here and because everything is is reference you can touch anything so that's something else that you can see here you have the display type reference normal and templates if we go to normal i can select this now and you can see that when you hit three on that this will be the actual look so there's a bit of a uh, change there topology if you want to and three and why not let's just change the whole thing to three bam and if it gets too slow i can always move back but you have everything in here so feel free to roam around this area as well so again visibility also all of your controllers on off that is set here so if you have any speed issues go to proxy turn this back to one or turn off all the controllers these are all the things you can do I'm gonna go back to a reference here and i'm going to turn this back to normal just because and let's go back down here so you have the main controller here and you can see the layout control you have an additional control here this rig has so many additional controls it moves everything around of course i have everything high res now it's a bit slower you can go back to this and the tracker control as well these are all extra layers for you to control the main character which is very very cool you also have one in the middle here and that gives you, again, every single controller has an extra control. So in here, you can change that on and off. So you have that here, main controller. And let's go down to the feet. So foot control. First of all, you can go here and you have all your classic 
movements here, rotations, and you can see if I rotate this, the knee, there's a slight information there, and you can do this with the pole vector, but you also have a knee pin, which I love. It's great, love knee pins. You have your leg foot IK control on off, and a root control, this is all for space switching, which is fantastic. Go back here, you have all your leg stretchiness, which everybody knows, but you can really reshape your character and the stretch aspect of the squash and stretch is really nice here. You have a knee slide, go back here to the uh, default settings here, and you have ankle break, ankle roll, this all depends on your foot roll that you want to do. You have all the classics for the ball, the toe, the side as well, leg twist if you don't want to use this one. Then you have the ball twist, toe twist, heel twist, all that good stuff. And all your space switching. And even here, again, you have extra control if you need to. And there's a pivot control. So when you have this here, this would be your pivot. So when I do anything like this, it will do it like that. If I move this around here, now I have rotation of this pivot here. So again, you can leave it there. But if you have a bit of a side thing, it's pretend you need this for your roller blades or you're on the side and you need a more specific side tilt on the foot, you have it there as well. And on top of that, bam, another one. So all those controllers have like a second layer of options, of pivots, which is awesome. I'm very much used to this at work where we have, instead of animation layers, we have all this built in into the rigs and it's great. I love that this has it here. The back side here, you see there's nothing there. What is that? This is your IK FK switch. So you have your classic FK, but even in here, again, you have extra control. And if you go with uh, FK, you still have the stretchy option with a squash and stretch. And this is for all areas of the leg. So you have IK FK, you have leg scale. Whoa, you have leg scale again in here and you have the roller blades on or off. So if you don't want the roller blade option, you have that here. Let's go back to IK. And you still have the options of doing your foot roll like this, and you have the toe roll like that, rotations, and all of these have scale. That's something else I'll show you later on, where you can completely re-sculpt your character, which is really cool. I said this, but this one doesn't have it. <laughs> so going back here, you have the ankle blend control, roller blades again, everything is in there. For the roller blades, you have this, where you can change that. There's an IK setup, and you have them on the individual control as well. You can move these around, you can rotate the wheels around, you can scale these around. Did I try to hit? No, okay, so it's just up here where you can scale. So a ton of options, and obviously this is on both sides. Bend bows, you have that but it gives you an up twist, you have a mid twist, you have a low twist, you have a squash just for that, and you can also scale it, so you have a scale and a squash option there, and of course a sub control, holy moly, where you can go absolutely bananas in reshaping everything. I love it. The knee control, again, like I said, has the knee pin, just to point that out, and you have all your space switching options there. Again, all of this goes all the way up here up to the side where you have your the change in the hips but again you can scale these if you want to then you have your pelvis and again the pelvis has an extra control and you can scale this as well and this is how the hip function works i was a big fan when the hip is not actually influencing the top then you have the spine the lower part when you can move things around like this and you can see a little bit of a squash and stretch again which is awesome you can scale if you want to and you also have your bring this up here you have your extra control yes or no hip control yes or no you have all of these here which is the belt function so in here if i can select this like oh there you go does it like an idiot but it did work so you have your belt and of course stretchiness and of course, extra controller just for the belt. This goes all the way back there where you can move this around. Then of course you have the root, which moves everything and you have your IK arms. Of course, these all have space switching options there and you have extra control and a pivot change for that as well. Again, it's absolutely 
bananas all the options that you have then we go further up this is your spine mid control where you can move things around you can scale again and of course extra middle control then you have your breast controls use these responsibly you can do all kinds of things in terms of movement and of course extra control then we are up here this is your upper spine that moves things around it's a bit slow here because i have everything on high res and again scale then we go all the way up here and we have clavicle so clavicle moving like this you have clavicles in terms of translates and of course you can scale and you have the extra control and you have an auto clavicle so let's say for instance i'm going to go back here and i'm going to switch to hand ik control so let's say i'm going to go here and switch to ik to fk i mean and i move this up you can see that you have your automatic clavicle but you can change this so you can say yes or no and it will also have an extra control as well then going down you have your gimbal after a while you see these are all the same you have the change there where you can change where this is with a little bit of squash and stretch you have scale options and extra controls which is great once we get to here you also have glove options you have squashiness in here so you can scale and use these right so i can do this or you can do that and you can use stretch as well if you want to give them a longer a longer look back here like i said here you have your ikfk change you go back here you have your <clears throat> arm scale everything can be scaled you have a hand scale which is very cool then you have immediate controls for the fist and it gives you actually a nice fist control where you have a curvature in your uh, wrist control which is great then bring this back you have a curl so we need a little fist like this you have a relaxed version which is neat which goes into that classic relaxed pose if you need to do a quick blocking and you have spreading of the fingers and you have a massive spread and of course you have all these options here so you can do whatever you want to here you can also scale again you can go to the tip here you can translate you can scale you can rotate and you have a separate option for scale just like this not to go crazy and an extra control so all of these have extra controls going to the yellow controls here again you have cup just for single fingers and we'll go and select all of these and go bananas but again you have all of this and the spread options and of course the scale and this goes all the way back you got this for the thumbs it's absolutely bananas i love it this is of course on both sides and when you switch to fk you have the options here and all of that here rule control align stretch i mean you can go in there and stretch this separately if you want this is absolutely bananas i love it i just so love that rig then let's go to the upper region here this is another arm hand root ikfk control as it says here but it's kind of like another shoulder joint control no rotations but you can scale in case you want to change this around then we are on the neck control so right now as you do this the head has a uh, world or a head align or ik whatever you want to call this but you have that here of course this you can change to root and you have extra controllers of course and you can scale this if you want so if we are going back to not this here but this one that is your head so you have your head options here and again you can change this the root control you can change the world space align so if i say no and i go back down here to this one this is the uh, the change in the head here right now facial control does actually the hair as well so if you do hair control this is separately but if you want the whole thing off uh, that's what happens so it might as well just go to the hair so the hair you can move around like this you can rotate around you can scale it around so just in case you actually don't want all of this going back you can scale and give this a little bit of a hair top like that technically you can also hide this so if you open the outliner you can see down here geo grouping all the way down here and you can see hair and again you can just do reference off and do this uh just by clicking on it but i have that turned off so you can turn this off and you can also turn the whole head off or the hair off not the head and then you get this kind of look and you can probably add your own hair variations if you want but of course you will lose uh, the controls of that but lots of options let's go back out here now so in here down here you have 
you have a lower part of the face squash which is great and you have uh, squash expand and options you have all kinds of options for there but if you do any type of chewing that's also cool then you have your jaw and as you go up you can see there's a bit of a squishiness and it's moving the uh, what's it called the nose but you can also change that if you want again everything has extra controls and you have more upper controls you have sub controls for everything it's absolutely bananas how many controls you have so if you want this again you have uh, extra control on the jaw then you have extra control for up here to move things around it's absolutely bananas i love it going up here you have your overall corner of the mouth shaper and we open the jaw just to show you so it's nicely deformed which is really cool then you have your cheek if you want to go up there you have actually let me go and reopen this just a bit you have that in terms of the corners you have this in terms of the shapes and all of these have lip roll as you can see here there's a lip curl on all of these so every time you select one of those controllers you can expect a ton of stuff you have the lip zip if you need it you have the lip pinch you have a lip puff that's also my dog then you have the crease here the nasal crease you have the corners up and down that is also an automatic thing that you can do and this goes all the way you have the mouth ooh, just for a quick ooh shape if you need to again a ton of sub controls if you really need them and if you're going down to the tongue again you have extra tongue controls if needed you have a squash on the tongue and of course you can take this thing out and you can scale it and you can rotate it and you can just do everything it's absolutely mind-blowing i love this facial setup going to the cheeks again you have just a control for the cheek puffs if you want to and of course you have a sub control as you can see for all the separate parts of the cheek if you want extra deformation or depending on how realistic you want this to be in terms of uh, deformations then up here you have cheekbone and again you can scale whatever you want to do here then we can go up to let's go up here you have that part of the nose where you have you have this part of the nose where you can do this and of course you can scale you got the top here that you can move around and of course scale then you have this here but you also have options just for a nose flare so you can select these both here and do your nose flare or do here and then you have this here which is really cool so you have this option to move everything you have this in terms of scale but you can also rotate but you also have a nose pull depending on again on the shapes that you want to change for the look of it you have that and as you go up in the controllers you also have an ik option here so when you take this it gives you that type of look to move things around you have let me go back here again moving everything and same thing up here where you can move around like this turn this on and it gives you an extra control for that up here you can scale of course and you can rotate but again if you just translate it moves everything but if you do the ik option let me just go down here it gives you this where you have a bit more fine tuning of that again you can really shape absolutely everything it's a bananas then i'm gonna wait for the eyes because they're so awesome then you have this here so this would be your overall um, brow control in the middle so if i go up and down it does this and again you can scale if you want and you have eyebrows in and out as an as a channel option here and also a pull but if i go up here and i translate out this happens as well so i can go up here and do all kinds of things with the brows which is very cool then you have fine tuning of your inner brows if you want to of course scale same thing here then you have that aspect with nice deformations you have just the middle here you have the whole thing if you want to and you have the outside here it's absolutely mind-blowing and since i'm right here might as well do this you have the ear you can scale the ear you can take the whole thing here and move it around of course you can scale it you can move it out and you have the lower part of the ear and again this goes into a massive amount of reshaping i'll show you uh, at the end what you can do to kind of redo the whole model now going to the eyes so you have eye controllers that are like this and you can see the deformation on the geometry there you have head control you have changes there in your switching possibilities here no scale here but you have this where you can move just the eye and again you can see how nicely you have a deformations on this no scale here but if you go inside here which is very very cool you have 
the eye here. So you can move this whole eye socket around, which is bananas, and you can scale the whole thing around. Again, to completely reshape what you need to do. And you can translate and you can rotate this around so that you only have certain parts that are affected. Then you have also a squash and stretch on the eye, that control and eye soft control. So now we're here and you can absolutely reshape everything. Can you scale? Yes, you can. Then you can take this here, move this around. It's absolutely insane. And just because you're here, sub control on off if you need to. Let's turn this back off. Then we have the outside of the eye. So you can move this around, you can shape this around. Like I said, you can scale and all of this has sub controls as well. It's really insane how many sub controls you have. You have this for shaping as well. And you can wrap this here and this is for your blink. So now you also have a lid puff just in case you need a lid puff. You have sub controls for all of your eyes. But if you go back here and you want to close this, you still have now an option to reshape and change things around. This is just in one axis. Same for the top. This is for your blink. And then you have your shape control there. That being said, if you go outside, there is no overall quick blink option. That's probably the only thing I would say I would miss. So if you click here, you have your eye squash and stretch and you go onto the small part here, you have the iris size, then you have the pupil size and I can't move anything, no. But you can rotate, you can rotate the eyeball around, that's that controller. You have the iris squash and stretch, you have the pupil squash and stretch and you have a lid follow. So if you do this, it's like that. So if I bring this all the way down, lid follow on or off. So you have a bit of influence or just the eyeball with no influence at all. Again, that being said, it would have been cool since there are so many options just for a quick blocking to be able to do a quick blink. That being said, look at this. You can move the eye highlights, the kicker around, which blows my mind. You can also go in here and you can have the change here in the sec in the uh, specular pole. If I go over the here, <laughs> let me go over here. Move this around. It goes in and out, right? If you need this, you have the size of the specular options here, and also eyeball follow. So let's pretend I move my eyeball around. You can see how this stays put. If I take this and say no, and I move this around, you can see that it stays kind of behaving if you have a static light. So absolutely bananas. I love this. Then up here, what do we have? It's the upper stretch. I say upper stretch, but it does actually uh, uh, do a lot. So if you go down here again, you can change how much you want this. And you have bend and squash amplitude. I mean, again, you have so many fantastic options. One more thing as I zoom out, here is an option here that's very interesting. This is your A. This is the air control. This is very interesting. So what does that do? So you can do air IK control on and you also have a uh, world or not. So what does that mean? So if I take the root and I move this around, you can see that everything goes with it. But if I take this A and turn this back off, this goes all the way back to IK. So this is basically if your character is flying around or potentially jumping and you just want to turn this on or off, this is your option here to disable the IK for a moment. Now, that doesn't mean that IK is gone. You still have the option of moving your arm around in an IK way. So that's not really an issue there, but it's a very, very cool extra option, depending on whatever you want to do, body mechanics wise, flying around and jumping around, whatever it is. But it's a very, very cool option that I haven't seen before. Uh, and it could be something you can do obviously manually, but it's just cool to have that built in. Else to be said, except one more thing. So if I take this here, and I grab this up, it reveals the teeth. And what can you do with the teeth? Of course, you can move them, shape them, sculpt them. Absolutely bananas. And you can move this around here. It's just an insane amount of options. I just love how everything is built in where you can just completely change the rig. And speaking of which, if I switch this around, you can see I did a bit of a thing before I recorded, but you can turn things off, you can rescale them, you can change the uh, position, the scale of the head, again, the body, and completely change the look of the character if you want to. And that is that. I believe I have covered everything. I took a long look at it 
and there's just so much you can do. Oh, see what I forgot one thing. So you have your elbow pin. I, f I forgot that because it's an awesome option. And again, hand IK control and all those. It just everything has an extra control. I love it. Speaking of which, here's one. Here's one that I forgot. This is your separate squash and stretch and deformation for just the upper and the lower region there. Again, all of these have extra control. And I believe that's that. Absolutely love it. And again, check out the showcase to see what those characters can do. They are absolutely feature quality. I mean, there's so much you can do. I am so impressed. And yes, it's a steeper price, but holy moly, what a fantastic rig. And just wait, because I'm going to show you the male version, Brooke, and then Dawn, the kid. And Brooke has a very cool arm function. And Dawn, as a kid, he doesn't have too much in terms of extras, for instance. So she has the rollerblades, and he has kind of a, an interesting robot arm. The kid doesn't have anything, but it's very, very cool. It's also very reminiscent of The Incredibles, and that is not a negative. It's absolutely fantastic. So that's it from me. Check out Animation Buffet if you need more rigs. And you can check out, of course, my YouTube channel for more rig reviews and general lectures and animation-related material. That's it. I will bid you a farewell until the next one.